Hey y'all, it's Gunnar Jethridge. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I'm a dress designer. I take on DIY challenges and today we're doing one of my favorite things and that is going thrift shopping and we're going to try to make something incredible out of what we find. Before we hop into this video, I want to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, keeping the lights on. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you guys want to see something cool. If you have any requests, I'm happy to do them for you. Let's go thrifting. So I went to one of my favorite thrift stores in LA. It's St. Vincent de Paul. I managed to find not one, not two, but four tablecloths with the same pattern. I started the process like I always do, creating my pattern. I always think it's really important that I kind of draw my lines out on the dress forms. It really helps me like establish a shape. Cause you know, the seams really determine like the structure of a garment. I use straight pins around all of the sections and then I trace it out on there. Once you trace it, you have your pattern. So here I've added in my half of an inch seam allowance all the way around the outside edges, also in with the dark, cause like, you know, once this gets sewn together, we're just gonna kind of taper that in to kind of give you the bust shape here. But the seam allowance is like the most important part of pattern making. I cut everything out, I match my patterns, and I do this by kind of like flipping it over, make sure that the patterns mirror each other. Let's take a moment to talk about Skillshare. Skillshare is a platform that offers thousands of classes for creative and curious people who are looking to take their skill sets to the next level. They have classes for beginners all the way up to expert level, and guess what? Most of them are under an hour long. I know I don't have time to take a super long class, so these are classes that are good for me, so I bet they'll be good for you. They have classes in design, photography, fashion illustration, origami. There's so many classes on there. It just depends on what you're interested in learning. Like lately, I've been sketching with Procreate. It's been a game changer for me. I feel like my sketches are finally starting to look professional again. The most recent class I've taken is fashion sketch on Procreate with Elisa Uten. It's really helped me take my sketches to another level. Did you know that the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description of this video are going to get a free month on Skillshare? A free month of classes. When was the last time you got a free month of anything? Now, let's make some magic. Okay, so now I'm gonna join my top layer to the underneath layer. It's not the lining, it's like a middle layer. It's just like to give it a little density, a little thickness. This is called flat lining. And you just kind of do it all the way around the outside edges, just like not like right at the very edge and also not like where your seam allowance will be. It's somewhere between the two. Now after stitching, you have to press your seams flat and beautiful. Okay, so I'm just working on the sleeve. I've officially hit the part of the process where I would love to take a nap. Not gonna happen. I think the rest of it's gonna be nice. Um, I like it. I think it's cute. I decided that I wanted to do three layers of the skirt. Okay, so I'm gonna gather one layer at the top and uh, and then I guess I'm gonna try to like add three more layers below it. Um, I think this is gonna be very cute. <laughs> but sometimes the vision is just in your head and it's not cute. So let's hope it's not one of those times. I'm rooting for a very cute dress right now. I made sure that I kept the scalloped hem at the bottom of it, but I wanted it to have a little bit of a drag behind it. So instead of cutting the bottom for a train, I cut the top. And that way when I gathered it all together, it hung at the level you needed it to for the shoe in the front. I love this kind of like boho feminine feel. I'm always attracted to like silhouettes from the past. And this to me is so 1970s. And I really, really enjoy the way that this came out. I hope you guys loved watching this dress come together. If you have ideas for the future, things that you'd love to see me do, please comment them below. We do read your comments, even the nasty ones. So just know that I do see them. Until next time, bye guys.